we're going to do is this is my siphon and I have to uh, I've got sanitizing solution in here and I'm going to sanitize my racking cane and this bucket right here which I'm going to put my bottles in all at the same time so that's what I'm doing there I've got about four gallons here I have some caps this is my wine thief so we're <laughs> going to take a gravity sample of all the beer in a little bit so when I empty this of all the sanitizing solution that's where the beer goes Mm. And this is the capper. And then this corn sugar here, I uh, boil with two cups of water, and that's what gets added to the beer to make it happy and bubbly. <laughs> happy and bubbly. Nice. Now, this is the airlock. I'm going to take this off so I can stick in my wine thief. Too excited. <laughs> Get a little bit more. There we go. Right. And then what we do is this is what I'm going to float a hydrometer in yeah. which measures how pretty much how thick the liquid is that you're putting in it measures the specific gravity and uh, you use the original gravity what you started off with um, and you subtract what you end with to find out how much alcohol because the yeast convert the sugar to alcohol Taco. and oh good it's at about 1018, which is a little higher than I like it, but lower than what it was not too long ago. So that makes me happy. So, so I started at 1060, and that's, so remember nine, so 1060 down to 1018. Uh, what is that? Three, so nine months, it'll be about 6% alcohol. Nice. Nice. Then what I'd like to do. Boozy. Boozy booze. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit strong for half a That's good though. But that's usually where I like them. Put it in here in a cool glass. Good. I used a different yeast than I usually do. Because <laughs> there, <we go. laughs> there you go. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Okay. Wow, tastes like peanuts, dude. Really? Yeah. That's good. I used a different yeast because they were out of the yeast I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. All right. So now this has been in here. Rinse it off one more time and bring this. I don't want to forget to do that. <laughs> bring this out here. And then we take our siphon. And if you're going to, you know, brew your own beer, spend $10 to get the auto siphon. Normally, when you buy one of those home brew packs, you just get the regular racking cane. And you have to either start the siphon with your mouth, which isn't very sanitary, <laughs> or get it in the liquid all the way and then plug it up and then put it in there. And you really can't do that if you have a carboy that you're racking from. Mm, okay. So this, watch how easy this is. Put this into my bucket. Mr. Bucket. And I stick this in here. <laughs> That's what she said. Pull it up a little bit. Put a little oh, bit yeah. And it's already going. It didn't take any work oh, at all. Oh, yeah. That's bear, guys. Bear. If you want to see, we'll pull off this. I've got the blanket on to reduce UV light. 
don't want contamination because that's Cause how the uh, UV light will give it a kind of a banana y taste or a, a skunky taste. Oh. Ah. So that's why when you drink Corona, it has the flavor it does because they use the clear bottles. Interesting. Look at that. You learn something new every day with Mr. E here. So now I can let it just. Or Dr. Uh, Doctor Isotope. That's what it was. Oh. Crap. Nope. Don't want that to happen. Because right? what happened, it would start getting the sediment at the bottom. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we will be back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> beer. Beer. And more beer. Is what we use for bottling. And now, we need to boil some water. <laughs> Ninety-nine percent of your time spent <laughs> is boiling and is boiling water. <laughs> That's a little big. Boiling. Welcome back. Boiling. Now we need to figure out and use the computer program. We ah. have what about four and a half gallons? About four and a half gallons of beer. This is the beer right here, guys. And so what, what he's going to do is he's going to take it to his program. Come on back. We're coming. We're going to check this out. He's got this really cool program. Uh, Beersmith. Beersmith. And so it tells you pretty much what you need to do and won't lie to you. So I just go to where to go. I want it, since it's a Hefeweizen, I like it a little bit more carbonated. Mm-hmm. So I'll do 2.6. This tells me batch size. I'm going to change that to 4.5 right now. And it tells me I need 3.88 ounces, so almost 4 ounces. So I'll change this back so I don't ruin the recipe. <laughs> there you go. All right. So you need 3.88 of what? Ounces of sugar. Ounces of sugar, okay. So we're going to use dextrose, which is corn sugar. Also, it's, it's glucose. Making the burr. We are going to use a paper plate. Put it on here. Dave is measuring his cocaine, I mean, uh, corn syrup, corn sugar. Do you know why I'm boiling it? Why you're boiling it? Yeah. To make it, I don't know, better? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Two reasons. Uh, the main reason, so it's fluid and it distributes in there evenly. Mm, yeah. The second one, not that we have to worry a ton since there's already alcohol in there, but just for sanitation. Two ounce. We can Tony Montana over here, or Montoya, <laughs> whatever the hell it is, I don't know. Three point two four. Got an eighth, man. <laughs> is this gonna be perfect? Oh wow. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright. Yeah. Alright. So we Yay, put that in there, stir it around. You do the hokey pokey, and you'll see something cool in a little bit. Take the boiling water off of the stove now, and then just have to get up to 200 degrees so it kills off all the stuff. Start a little vortex in here. And come on, I should have used a longer spoon, but oh well. And then carefully pour the sugar water in, stir it some more, so it all gets evenly distributed. And now the reason we put the sugar in there is so that the yeast will start again, they'll start fermentation. There's not that much sugar in there, and that's what puts the carbonation into your beer. And the bubbles. When you make homebrew. Bubbles. <laughs> all right, so here we have and then we're starting to sanitize down here, sanitize the bottles. So you can reuse bottles, guys. 
For sure, don't buy them. Yeah. I mean, they cost pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes more expensive to buy the beers, the bottles at the homebrew shop. Or you could go to the store <laughs> and buy a bottle with beer in it. And if you're brewing beer, you probably like beer, so... <laughs> <laughs> and have all your friends save your beer bottle. Save their beer bottles. Just have one good 4th of July party yep. and you're set. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Got my beer. This is sanitizer solution. The nice thing about Star Sand, it only has to touch for about 20 seconds and it's good as opposed to like iodine where it needs more than a couple minutes. Um, it'll be a little foamy, but that's all right. Stick this in here. Oh, I need to turn it on. <laughs> Fills up the little nozzle, and then the little at the end of the nozzle, there's a little button pretty much ah. pushes up, releases the water or beer rather, and I just wait for a bit. Do, 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 do. Do. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the bubbles are starting to come out. That's the bubbles from the sanitizing solution. Um, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Doesn't really have a taste. It'd be a little sour because it's an acid. But wait for the volume to get right up there. Pull down, and the volume that the uh, what do you call that, Dealy? No, the dig is there. <laughs> the the volume, and it's perfect amount of volume to leave for there. Mm. I grab a oxy cap. These help absorb oxygen, so that it doesn't get into your beer. Oxygen oxidizes things and affects flavor. For sure. Right. Put my cap. <laughs> I'll use a different one. Put my cap on top. Push down. Ooh. There go. And there is beer. This will be carbonated probably in about a week, but you, you know. I'll drink it in a week, <laughs> but uh, they're really ready to go in about two, three weeks. So awesome! I usually test one after a week and then let them stay for a little bit more. Awesome, right. guys! So now we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. Obviously, we got to take all about this. Fifty. Yeah. So we got. Uh, I'm not gonna film it because there's no sense of showing you exactly what he just did. But hope you enjoyed that. This is Dave's home brew, and Dave is the man. Uh, yes. All right, guys. Take care. Remember, love your mothers. Bye.